Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. Recently, the news that China has made a major technological breakthrough in the field of extreme ultraviolet lithography (EUV) has caused a stir in the global semiconductor industry. According to domestic authoritative media reports, Shanghai Microelectronics Equipment Group Company Limited (SME) has completed the verification of the core components of the first domestic EUV lithography prototype, and its light source system power has exceeded the critical threshold of 250 watts, which can meet the mass production needs of 7 nanometer and below process chips. This progress marks that China has taken a substantial step on the road to breaking through the Western technology blockade, which may reshape the global semiconductor industry landscape. As the crown jewel of chip manufacturing, EUV lithography involves more than 100,000 precision parts, and its research and development difficulty is known as the Mount Everest in the history of human industry. The Chinese research team adopts the dual-loop collaborative innovation model. On the one hand, the synchrotron radiation light source plus free electron laser hybrid solution pioneered by the Institute of Optoelectronics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences solves the world's problem of unstable power of traditional laser plasma light sources. On the other hand, the curve reflector system developed by Tsinghua University and Chongchun Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics Controls Optical. Distortion within 0.1 nanometers, which is equivalent to accurately identifying the ups and downs of a sesame seed on a football field. This new technical path not only bypasses ASML's pattern barriers, but also shows advantages in light source life and energy efficiency ratio. Breaking through the bottleneck dilemma of lithography machines requires collaborative innovation of the entire industry chain. At present, a complete supply chain system has been formed in China, with Shanghai Microelectronics as the leader, covering more than 300 supporting enterprises such as North Huachuang, etching equipment, China Micro, thin film deposition, engineering electric materials, photoresist. It is worth noting that the debutification 7 nanometer production line jointly developed by Huawei HiSilicon and SMIC has completed equipment adaptation testing, and the yield rate has increased from 38% in the early stage to 72%. It is expected to achieve large-scale mass production of 10,000 wafers per month in 2026. This design manufacturing equipment Trinity Collaborative model is rewriting the traditional vertical division of labor in the semiconductor industry. The breakthrough of China's EUV technology has triggered a chain reaction. ASML announced that it will accelerate the commercialization of Hyane EUV, 0.55 numerical aperture equipment, while Nikon of Japan has restarted the EUV R&D project. 
The latest report from the Semiconductor Industry Association of the United States shows that China's annual patent applications in the field of lithography machines account for 34% of the world, and it has formed a partial lead in subsectors such as objective lens systems and vacuum chambers. Geopolitical experts pointed out that the formation of this technological balance may prompt Western countries to adjust their export control policies from a comprehensive ban on operation to conditional technology exchange. Despite the phase results, domestic EUV still faces many challenges. In terms of core components, Germany's size lenses and Japan's vacuum valves are still difficult to replace. In terms of process accumulation, there is a significant gap compared with ASML's more than 30 million hours of equipment operation experience. But the huge domestic market provides unique advantages. It is estimated that China's demand for cheap manufacturing equipment will reach 1.2 trillion yuan in the next five years, and this scale effect will accelerate technological iteration. Yi Tianchan, director of the Institute of Microelectronics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, said, just like high-speed rail technology, China's semiconductor equipment is taking a distinctive development path from following, running side by side to leading. Behind this scientific and technological battle is the continuous investment of more than 20,000 scientific researchers for 16 years. From the mass production of 28 nanometer immersion lithography machines to the breakthrough of EUV prototype machines today, China's semiconductor equipment industry is completing a historic leap from usable to easy to use. As the global digitalization process accelerates today, this breakthrough is not only related to industrial security, but will also redefine the connotation of technological sovereignty. As an engineer involved in the project said, we are not copying other people's routes, but creating new possibilities. China's domestically produced EUV lithography machine has broken through the 250-watt light source power, and mass production of 7 nanometer chips is in sight. The Chinese Academy of Sciences and Tsinghua University have innovated technical paths to bypass ASML patents, and the domestic industrial chain has collaborated to build an independent ecosystem. This 16-year-long technological breakthrough is rewriting the global semiconductor landscape.